As the basement content fire grows, this gas layer is 600 degrees Fahrenheit, and although it is invisible to the eye, it is visible in the thermal imaging camera view. At 3 minutes and 15 seconds, the fire impinges on the engineered wooden eye joist above as the content fire transitions to a structure fire. During the transition, the hot gas layer begins to ventilate from the basement to the first floor through the open interior staircase. Floor and ceiling temperatures of both areas are provided in the video. As the intensity of the fire grows, an increasing volume and velocity of smoke and hot gases flow up the interior staircase along the flow path connecting the basement doorway and windows to the first floor front doorway. At 3 minutes and 45 seconds, the entire doorway at the top of the stairwell is full of flames from floor to ceiling, acting like a chimney. Flowing water in the stairwell and trying to go down the stairs to seek lower temperatures at the bottom would not be possible in this scenario. At 4 minutes, the fire dynamics within the entire basement are changing dramatically and they are rapidly approaching flashover conditions. At 4 minutes and 25 seconds, the basement compartment flashes over, and temperatures in the flow path are floor to ceiling, 1,700 degrees in the basement, and first floor temperatures of 600 degrees near the floor. The exterior front view shows the volume and velocity of the smoke escaping the open front door from the charged first floor area. At this time, the fire is sustained by the remainder of the first ignited fuel package and the consumption of the exposed engineered wooden eye joists. Despite the relatively small size of this townhouse-like structure, the view at five minutes from the opposite sides of the structure differ greatly, reinforcing the need for a complete 360-degree size-up. A size-up of the rear of this structure would provide direct access to the fire from the exterior below grade entrance rather than entering the front door and attempting to attack the fire from above by descending the interior basement stairway. The temperatures at the top of the stairs are now greater than 1000 degrees from floor to ceiling. It would be impossible for a crew to descend the stairs because even the use of a hose stream would not knock down the fire being generated by the burning floor system in the basement. However, the exterior rear below grade extinguishment point would allow for a visual identification of the type of floor structure and the potential fire related damage. Remember that the unprotected engineered lumber floor system has now been exposed to a significant fire for approximately three minutes. This floor has been weakened, irreversible damage has occurred, and it is in need of evaluation prior to committing to operations above a fire damaged area of the floor assembly. At six minutes, an instantaneous collapse of the entire floor system occurs. This collapse is well within the arrival and operational timeline for fire ground operations. Any crews that may have been on the first floor, either searching or protecting the top of the stairwell, would have fallen into the basement.